welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's uh, Saturday, so I've got a quick little mail call. Um, I've actually kind of slowed down in some of my purchases of new cars because I've got a backlog of cars that I need to get restored and taken care of. And so instead of buying new cars, I've been trying to focus on getting some of the boxes for the cars that I do not yet have boxes for and getting some parts for uh, for some of the stuff that I want to work on. So that's what I've got today. Um, up first here, I've got a series of boxes. These came out of a Facebook Live auction. Um, and this was a boxes only auction, which has to be just about my favorite thing in the world. Um, these are all beautiful original boxes in just about pristine condition. This one's got a little wrinkle here in, uh, in this end flap, but um, nothing that I don't think can be fixed just by uh, simple press. Um, they do have the original price tag stickers on them, and in this case, I'm probably gonna leave these alone. Um, I can display this side of the box anyway, and uh, I think it's kind of a cool little reminder of you know how much these sold for when they were new. So, um, nice box here. This, uh, this does have one little repair that it needs, and that is this end flap. Um, and for those of you that have seen some of my box repairs and my earlier videos, you know that this is a really simple, easy fix. Um, so watch for that in a future video. I do have a couple of these cranes, um, and I think at least one of them might be a candidate for restoration. So that might be a, a nice little duo to work up. Uh, both of these, I don't think need anything done to them. Um, I've got a couple of these uh, these models, the number one, number two, uh, Mercedes hauler, uh, the truck and hauler. Um, and anytime I can get a, a nice matched pair and knock those two things off my list, I'm gonna try to do it. So really nice boxes, uh, very few condition issues on these. Uh, I got a little tear there. I, I hardly wonder if that's even worth trying to repair it. Um, this one's got a little crease here in the front, um, but no marn on the artwork or anything. And this side is just about perfect. So um, some nice little additions. I think I, well I know, I never pay more than $10 for a box. So um, I don't remember exactly what I paid for these. It's been a few weeks back now. I've been waiting to do this, this uh, mail call video. Um, but very reasonable price and uh, anytime it's really hard to find just loose boxes because usually when I find a box, the seller's got a car with it. And if you've got really nice cars that don't have a box, I, I don't need another copy of that car. So anytime I can pick up just boxes only, um, I like to do that. That's great. And then this package I'm actually really excited about. Um, so this came from, I don't know if any of my international viewers can see that. Um, this is from the Netherlands. Here's my stamps. International Netherlands. So this is from uh, MK Models, uh, MK Model, Model Car Parts. Um, I've purchased a lot of stuff from them because their pricing is really, really reasonable. And I get these packages from the Netherlands seriously in like less than a week. Um, I ordered some uh, some decals over a month ago uh, from Black Square, and I am still waiting for that shipment uh, out of the UK. And so, uh, really impressed with MK. Um, so I'm just going to go over my my list here of what all I got. Um, this will kind of give you a, a little preview at some of the stuff that I'm working on. So we got a couple of side doors for the 69A Comer. Um, that's the Nestle's van, and uh, I put those up in a pole. And that was the number one model that uh, people wanted to see me attempt to do a sympathetic restoration on. And I've got a couple of them, and they're both missing doors, so I ordered some new doors there. Um, they had a special offer on their 8mm metal wheels, which most of the older models are the, the metal wheel models. Um, and they had them at 25, I think these are crones or pounds, or I'm not sure what their currency value is there. Um, but... 25 cents a piece, so I went ahead and ordered 10 of them. Uh, a couple plastic tow hooks, a couple of the dump truck drivers. 
These I ordered, I, I have one of every one of those uh, dumper trucks, um, tipper trucks, but they're all in various condition states and quite a few of them are missing drivers. And so I wanted an A and a B because I'm gonna try to attempt to do a casting and make my own model, or my own uh, drivers. So I'm trying to do a little experiment with those. So I wanted to order a couple of those. Um, the Dennis fire engine, I've got a couple of those wheels. Uh, back for a Foden tanker, taxi driver. This is uh, one of the other models that I put up in that little preview video, ask people about. I've got a really nice taxi. It's really rough shape, but it's also missing the driver. So I got that one so I can do, do that model as well. And then, uh, let's see, a door for the Bluebird Caravan, a couple doors for the silver and the green VW campers. I've done uh, one of those in a video before, but I've got quite a few more that I wanna try to do. Um, and these are kind of hard to find, so I figured I'm just going to go ahead and pick a setup of each one of those. And then uh, these ones I'm really excited about, the uh, Marshall Horse Box. I have two of these original models that are in exceptional shape, and they are both missing the doors. Um, and I've had discussions with uh, a couple of the other restorers about the various quality and, and condition issues that sometimes you find those in. And so I'm kind of excited to see uh, how these stack up uh, because I know I've, I've heard from some of the other restorers that they've had really mixed results on what they've ordered and the, the quality and condition they're in. And I don't know if uh, all these different websites, I don't know if they're all sourcing from the same group, you know, the same casting people or if they're all doing their own, but these are the tow hooks and those actually look really pretty good. I think, uh, I think those will probably be a pretty decent replacement if I uh, if I got a model that's missing a tow hook, and I've, I've had a couple in the past. So here we've got that Foden Timper, uh, tip, no, this is a sugar truck, um, the Foden sugar truck. And uh, I didn't realize that was gonna be so deep on the back, but that, that should come up to a nice fit. It's got a few little casting mold issues there that, you know, I think, uh, a little filing will help clean up, but overall that's that's pretty good, good shape. I'm happy with that. Got, here's, here's my VW doors, a couple of those. And you can really see the size comparison of the two different models. Um, the smaller doors, I believe, go with the silver models and the larger doors go on the green VW. So, a couple sets of those doors, happy to get those. Uh, these, I believe, I believe these are the uh, sliding doors for the, the Comer van, the Nestle's van. Um, and like I said, I've got a couple of those that are mid-restoration. I've been waiting to get these doors so that I can finish those up. So, um, these are really, really big. I'm, I, this is the big thing that I've been waiting on for, for these out of the shipment. These are the uh, horse box doors. And the complaint I've heard from other modelers is on the pins. And I've got a pr pretty good sampling here. This one looks like it's in really good shape. And that casting is very well done. Those pins are very fine. And this one is kind of a mess. Um, I think there's enough material there. Hopefully I can file it down to get to it, but kind of got one really good one and one not so great one. So very in quality and that's, I tell everybody, if you're going to order pieces and you need one, don't just order one uh, because it's such a mixed bag in what you get with these. That's, that's why I ordered two or three of most everything that I needed in here. So, um, so yeah, I think I got at least one good one in there. We might try to fix up one of those horse boxes in a future video. And then here is, I think this is my, this is my taxi driver. So, and that casting actually looks really nice. Lots of detail. There's a few little flashing marks in there that I think we can clean up pretty easy. But uh, that's pretty good looking. And these two, I believe these are the, yeah, these are the dump trucks. So the small, smaller guy, I believe, is from 
the earlier models of dump trucks and the bigger guy is the, the later models, but both of those look actually pretty good. Alignment's not bad on those. Again, nothing that I can't clean up with uh, a little filing. So, then, I'm not sure what that is. I don't think I, I have to go back and look and see what that's to. I'm not sure I ordered that. That looks like it's off a, uh, oh, I know what that is. This is off of the camper. Um, I've got one of the Bluebird campers that's missing a door, and I think this is the, the replacement door for that camper. And then these two, again, like I said, when you, when you start talking about quality, it's really a mixed bag. So this one here looks really nice. I mean, that's like, that's ready to paint and go on. And this one has a lot of flashing, a lot of cleanup. It's not quite in round, it's a little out of round. So I think it's usable. I think it's it could be salvaged, but uh, definitely not as nice as this one. So again, I only need one of these. The model I got is missing one, um, but I always order a couple, especially when they're you know under two dollars a piece to get something. Just go ahead and order enough so that you got them. Shipping's going to be the same either way you look at it. And then the rest of these are all the little metal wheels. These were the 25 cents a piece for these suckers. So what I run into a lot of times on these older models is the axles rust, and when they rust, they swell. And then I end up with original metal wheels that are cracked or I can't get the rusty axle out of them. Um, and so there's not a lot I can do in those cases. So I figured if I've got a couple extras in there, I can just go use some replacement wheels on those models when that comes up when I have to. So that's going to do it for this mailbag. Like I said, not as exciting, not opening any cars, but uh, this should give you a little preview of some of the upcoming restorations I've got. And uh, can't recommend MK models enough. Like I said, really quick shipping, uh, really excellent prices. Um, and they've got everything. They've got Dinky, they've got Corgi, they've got Matchbox. Um, it's a really good site, good value, and super fast shipping. I think I got these in six or seven days from the Netherlands. So uh, big thanks to them. Um, and watch out for some of these parts to show up in some of my future restoration videos. As always, if you enjoyed it, give us a like. Uh, you want to keep up with what we're doing, subscribe to the channel below. And uh, join us next week for another Vintage Diecast Restoration.